Hello everyone, I hope you're doing so well. Welcome to this little morning and day vlog, I guess, of art, painting, and an oil painting time lapse. Thank you so much for your amazing comments on my last video. I hope you're all doing well. Yes, this is indeed my breakfast. Uh, it looks really great here, but actually, soon you'll see it turn up a bit bad. Uh, these are some really gross squashy blueberries. I mean, I love blueberries, but these ones are really squashy. Um, as you can see, the egg looks like a bit of a mess. This is mainly because I don't actually like my egg runny, so I like always cook it. And yeah, about what I'm gonna do for the oil painting time lapse. This was just an extreme close up. I was testing out my camera, it went wrong. Um, please excuse the really bad singing that is gonna happen in a second. It's just whenever I'm setting up, I'm always listening to music. I'm one of those people that cannot have too much silence. Like if there is silence, I'll just like put some music on. I can't really. Like, I don't really like silence that much. So yeah, so anyway, um, here this is, what I'm trying to do is set up this really clunky um, table easel that I have. Um, I actually got it from this shop, The Works, and it was kind of cheap, and it's actually a really good table easel. But the thing is, it's properly clunky, so trying to fit it together is hard work. Here is some um, paintings. I really want to show you these are some works in progress. This is a cat moving through the forest, which I've shown before. Frog in a boat. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, this one. Um, I'm really enjoying this one, actually. Um, I'm kind of like posing in some of these uh, like clips because I was just... I thought I might use this as a thumbnail, but anyway, I didn't. So just, I just like a bit of an idiot um, posing around. This is the painting that I'm going to be working on in a minute. So as you can see, it's like, I'm about halfway through it, I think. Um, I thought there was a mark on the painting, but fortunately it was actually just um, white paint. <laughs> and I found this um, piece of plastic that you get on top of frames when you buy a frame and sometimes they come with this like piece of plastic and it actually works out to be a really good palette and I've, I've used it like that before and it's always worked out really cool so yeah so I wanted to um show you like my paints that I was using but I didn't actually do that um which is a bit silly so I'm gonna probably list them in my description um but yeah so here we have the little cat in a forest and yeah I hope you enjoy this oil painting time lapse like a bit of a depressing past couple of weeks purely because um, I haven't actually finished any paintings <laughs> and the shop where I normally get like the five by seven panels from they've actually run out and so I've been working all on eight by tens which is fine in the sense that it's so much fun in a way because I get to really work out a detailed composition and they're much bigger but at the same time um, it means that I've just been really struggling to finish a painting because I sort of work on rotation and so when one painting is dry I like move on to the other and it's been a bit of a pain because of that so unfortunately um, I haven't actually got a finished painting yet and this has kind of made me feel a bit down in the dumps so I'm just trying to cheer myself up by thinking well at least they're moving on. Oh What's really great is I can now film vlogs because the light has improved so much because obviously we're heading into spring and um, it's such an advantage for me because where I paint it's actually quite dark funnily enough and so when I film any kind of time lapses if it's in the winter I literally have to put on this massive um, ring light which totally blinds my eyes it is that bright and if I turn it down then the camera lens doesn't get enough light so it'll come out really fuzzy so it's such a annoying trade-off and I don't have any other solution for it so in the winter basically it's vlog free and um, in the summer there's more light and spring obviously there's more light so I can actually film some vlogs which is really cool um do you let me know though if you prefer vlogs or if you prefer like the usual video where I like chat 
and ramble about each painting <laughs> and let me know which one you prefer. Um, and I do apologise once again for my horrific singing, I actually regret it already. <laughs> So I've been trying to force myself to watch movies when I am painting because otherwise what happens is I will literally just listen to audiobooks that I've heard a million times which is really really you know bad because it's it doesn't expand the mind if one does the same thing over and over again so I have to try and push myself to watch a film and you know be good. <laughs> So I saw this movie Daybreakers, by the way this review does contain spoilers so if you want to see this film please turn it off, turn this video off. So the story is basically about this group of humans who are trying to basically stop the world being taken over by vampires. The first half of the movie is really, really good. It's really exciting, it's like really action-packed. There's loads of cool uh, fight scenes between vampires and like this small group of humans left on Earth, even though the acting is somewhat questionable. Um, strangely enough, when Willem Dafoe, I think it's Willem Dafoe who's in this, he turns up in it, when, it's the moment he turns up in it for some reason the movie just like disintegrates and turns into like rubbish and I don't know when it's to do, I don't think it's anything to do with him, it's just the fact that when he shows up for some reason the story just seems to disappear and it ends up becoming quite um, bad, like the acting suddenly is more noticeably bad and the movie for some reason, um, I actually read after watching it uh, that the movie ran out of money. <laughs> I wish I'd read this before I'd seen the film because the movie actually has no conclusion, like it has no ending. So um, basically there's like all this tension, there's all this build up, is the world going to end, is it going to be taken over by vampires and is the human race going to be wiped out and then all of a sudden uh, the group of humans just sort of drive off into the sunset and they say let's fight vampires or something and then that's the end of the film. Now presumably I thought when the film ended that they were going to make a second one and that I was going to therefore seek out the second one even though it was not necessarily a very good film but I thought well I'd like to see what happens but actually the m movie literally just ran out of money and the film ends. It's so uh, yeah it was um, definitely like an average experience but probably the funniest part of the film and the redeeming feature of it is that the acting is so bad that it's actually comical. Like there's one point where the, the one of the characters in the film that is actually probably the, one of the only characters that you care about, she dies in the film and the guy who's supposed to be in love with her turns to the camera and he's literally like, oh no, <laughs> and, and does not look bothered at all. And it's just so funny, it's like that level of acting, it's pure comedy, but it's not supposed to be funny, it's supposed to be sort of really heart-rending, but it, it just ended up being purely comical. And and there are other characters in the film that you actually sort of are interested in their story, and they like burst into flames or get thrown into a fire. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's like, it's almost as though the, um, probably, the f probably because the film ran out of money, they probably thought, I can't actually afford to pay this actor anymore. I so said the director thought, yeah, just, just like chuck him in the fire. <laughs> so anyway, it's laugh out loud hilarious. But at the same time, you have to question, or at least I questioned whether you want to waste the entire movie, watching the whole, entire movie, because it has no ending. So <laughs> So I do hope you like this video as I said and um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new and I will see you soon. Take care guys.